In this video, we'll balance the equation for calcium hydroxide plus ammonium sulfate. So there's a lot of things going on here. Let's count the atoms up and we'll use a bit of a trick to help us out some. We have one calcium and then oxygens two times one. We have two of those. I'm going to leave this sulfate ion later. Let's just leave that at B. So we'll just say two oxygens, two hydrogens plus two times the four, eight. So we have 10 hydrogen atoms two times the one, two nitrogen atoms. And then because I have the sulfate here and here, I'm gonna count it as just one thing. That'll kind of limit the number of oxygens. So I have one, just the one SO4 sulfate ion. Product side, one calcium, oxygens, one hydrogens, two plus these three here. So I have five total hydrogens, one nitrogen, and again, just the one sulfate. Okay, when I have an equation like this, I'll leave the oxygens till last and leave the hydrogens until later. Let's balance the nitrogen atoms. I could put a two here, one times two. That would balance the nitrogens. We would need to update the hydrogen though. So for the hydrogen, we have two times three, that's six plus the two here. So now we have eight. Feels like we're getting close. If we multiplied the water by two, we'd have one times two. That would balance the oxygens. And then instead of two here, two times three is the six. Two times two, that gives us four. Six plus four is 10. We're done. This equation is balanced. A few things we did here. One, it's a really good idea to count the polyatomic ions as just one thing if they appear on both sides. That saves a lot of time. We can't do it with the hydroxide or with the ammonium ion because they don't show up over here. But the sulfate, that works really well. The other thing, leave the oxygen till last, the hydrogen until later. That usually helps when balancing equations. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for CaOH2 plus NH42SO4, calcium hydroxide plus ammonium sulfate. Thanks for watching.